So I have it set up here for now. I want to do a little work, maybe repaint some of it. I want to remove these um, hood latches and uh, the whole thing. And I probably remove this portion as well so I can repaint. It's pretty rough, even though you can't see much of it. Um, I'm going to detail all of this, make it look better. I may replace the, um, the liner because this thing is getting, as you can see, it's, it's very dirty and um, may, may look into getting a new one. Pretty slow going, but it's turning out pretty, pretty decent for what it is. This thing is kind of like a pain in the neck to clean. And I guess I don't have a the best tools for that, but even with this little press, um, bristle brush, I can I can get around some of these nooks and crannies and little corners here, and it just I was gonna I was thinking about painting it, but that's I don't like that because then you have you end up with a mess because you have too many. When you joints here, they're supposed to be kind of free. So I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. But what I realize is that <coughs> excuse me, once you start brushing it a little bit with the uh, with a uh, brass brush, uh, it looks a lot better. And I decided to use this um, Mothers, which is my go-to for a lot of polishing. And uh, this is the mag and aluminum polish. Even though not, you know, these things are not aluminum. It doesn't matter. Still cleans up a lot of the, a lot of the stuff that's been kind of caught in there for years. So again, it is far from, from perfect, but it's perfect from afar. Sometimes that's all you can really hope for. I mean, this has been, what, 43, 44 years since these things were installed. And uh, there was some overspray on it. I had cleaned it at some point. But um, it looks pretty decent. I don't, I don't think it's going to rust, but and I'm going to move the... Uh, all these joints here so we'll squeak or anything like that but anyway since this is kind of visible a little bit from the from the side once this is um, installed this goes like like this I believe we polish it a little more So anyway, now it's the time to clean these things. I uh, gave the bolts coat, a couple coats of the uh, cast blast. I know it's not the correct finish for them, but it looks so darn good when they're fully cured that um, and it protects the uh, the bolts anyway. So this is a great product by Seymour. 
the original cast blast. I decided I'm gonna remove this. Um, what do you call these louvers? Screen, whatever. I wanna touch up this area. And I also gotta find a better way to secure these uh, this thing, uh, these um, speed nuts are what are supposed to be there. So I guess at some point I was just trying to get this secured and uh, I used some little nuts that are not the, the right thing. So I have to uh, find new speed nuts. Make sure that this is installed properly. So there were six of them. find the right speed nuts. Yeah, these, these are still okay. Then at least I can touch this whole area up. Gotta sand it first. I'm also gonna remove and uh, replace the, the weather stripping. I think it's pretty, pretty hard and uh, I mean, there's still a little, a little bit of flex to it, but um, yeah. it's just better to replace the uh, the weather stripping. And again, I'm gonna touch up some of these areas. As you can see, there's this big, kind of like a whitish spot there. I don't know why. Just gotta remember to keep these little marking site I made for the for the hood hinges so I can line up the hood properly. Yeah this can use actually a good good detailing. That thing is so dirty. I see I'm about finding a, a nicer one. Yeah that I'll find the material make my own. ready to install to install the uh, this hinge here you can see the you can see the original silver paint under there anyway this looks pretty ratty here so what I'm doing I don't know if it makes any sense or not Found this piece of rubber I don't think it's gonna be a it's gonna interfere with anything I still have to trim it a little bit I just want to put that under there. Just dress it up a little bit. And then this thing sits right on top of it and then the, the hinge. So that's what I'm doing. So I gotta put a hole in this thing and uh, this bit of, um, I don't even know what you call them, hole punches for so long. And I guess this is like a, what, like a 5 16. This thing is so brittle, it's just breaking, breaking apart. But anyway, it looks like science here.
silly. But hey, anything that makes it look better, right? All right, so I have my little rubber piece I showed you. And I have this little, I think this little plate actually adds a little strength to the, to the whole thing because this is just a fiberglass here. So, and this thing goes in here, like so I believe. like to add a little bit of anti-seize so let's we'll see how this is gonna work or not I hope that little piece of rubber doesn't interfere with anything. I don't think it will. I won't know for sure until I get the hood back on. Anyway. Yep. So we'll keep this out of the way. I gotta install that all there. That's good. So there's the finished product. Again, I hope that doesn't interfere with anything. I don't think it will, but you never know. I got everything installed and uh, turned out pretty decent, I think, for or just a quick cleaning and, and polish. So, it is there. I don't know if I can show you the, the other bolt it's under there. Okay, so. I have the, uh, the speed nuts and the other little nuts that I had used there bef before. I don't, I mean, they do the job. They don't, they don't look right. I think the speed nuts are far better um, thing to use. And I have to dig through my little stash here. That's why it's a good idea to save some of these um, parts and it's too small. But anyway, I have to look through them and uh, find the right ones. Get this ready to uh, to be installed once I'm done with uh, detailing the hood, and you know I don't I don't care for kind of bright silver, so I may give him a coat of the cast finish or just. Um, just like a, a satin black or something like that, just to make them less obvious. But anyway, I'll work on that next. <laughs> 